Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I'm back today with another haul video. So the items I have here, you have never seen before. So I went to the thrift store and I didn't bother filming, I know. I thought I was just gonna get in there real quick, look around and find nothing. Well, quite the opposite happened and we loaded up the cart. So I've got quite a lot of great things to show you here. Really, really excited about a couple things for sure. But let me just jump right on in. And these are, by the way, from Savers. So the first thing I wanna show you is actually a huge set of dishes. Right here we have Lefton, G-O-Z Lefton dishes right here. Beautiful, look at this. So it has the little yellow and white daisy flowers on there with this kind of basket weave edge. So pretty. And I've got a lot of it. Now all of this cost me just, oh, I guess it was like $9.95 or something. Let's see if I can find that price. Well, I can't find it, but it was just under $10 for all of this. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six dinner plates. Uh, six of these giant bowls, like the cereal bowls, six saucers, six teacups, six bread plates, a giant serving platter, and then as I was walking around the rest of Savers, I found this other uh, like little tidbit tray right here, and it was $3.99, so I decided to buy it. And this one tray right here sells for about $25 online. Now the dog is growling, I need to put her out. So I was able to check on Worth Point and find that this thing was uh, worth about $25. And that's great. So $4, sell it for about $25. Now, as far as the rest of the dishes that I, was, I bought, I don't see any sales records really for these. So that's gonna make it a little bit more challenging for me to figure out the price. They are really awesome. And I, I think uh, the, the, tr the giant tray has the foil sticker still on it for Lefton, but the rest of these items just have the, the signature in the ceramic itself. So I don't know how I wanna sell these. Now, all of the pieces are in pretty good shape, except for, I will say, the teacups and saucers are kind of chipped up a little bit. So they do have signs of wear more than any of the other pieces. For the most part, the rest is pretty darn pristine. So I'm not still sure how much I wanna sell these for. I have never, I've never really found them before and I can just say they're really pretty though, as you can see. Oh, okay, so that's the first thing that um, I think is really outstanding, all of that stuff. Then I found these wonderful ivy glasses right here. So they've got the green ivy band with the white on top and bottom and there's a set of four and they were only $2.49. So I did buy them and they cleaned up really well, as you can see. And I believe I'm gonna hang on to these and use them. So yeah, I'll just stick those in the cabinet and we will have new glasses. And they kind of coordinate with my ivy motif here. Here's a Franciscan um, pattern that I collect. So yes, got some new glasses to use, new old glasses. I found a few things over in the bag section including this elephant paperweight with the blue inside of it. Trunk is up, beautiful. No real markings on it, so I can't say how old it is or anything like that. But the bag had this elephant in it and this blue heart. So I'm not sure if I wanna put the heart online or just maybe stick that in the booth for like five bucks and see if I can sell it. The elephant though is uh, why I bought it for $2.99. So $2.99 and I got the pair of these. The elephant I'll probably stick online for about $24 with shipping included though. Really cute. The other item that I bought in the bag were these awesome, very cool mid-century pillar candle holders. They have this, the wonderful lines on here. So nice. They were also $2.99 for the pair of them. And that's not too bad because they are really unique looking. So I will sell those as a pair for probably around $24, $26 with shipping included on those. And they're lightweight enough to also go first class. So those are cool. One thing that I found that I could not believe, and it's one of my favorite items that I found in a while, is actually this milk glass vase. And it was $3.99, but as you can see, there are these flamingos all over it. Isn't that cute? I believe it's from the 50s actually, and it has this sort of ruffled kind of 
flared up top to it. Really, just so cute. I don't see a maker for the most part. I do see an insignia on the bottom, but I can't tell what that is. If it's anchor hawking or, I'll try to do a close-up of that mark. Maybe it looks familiar to someone. It, it, I can't tell from it though. But it's a really cool vase and for only $3.99, I'm gonna hang on to that. Thought that was really cool. So again, another item I'm keeping. Um, okay, so this is strange, but now, I don't know what it was, like a week and a half ago or so, maybe less, I found my very first Starbucks You Are Here mug. Well, I found two more. I cannot believe it. I, I don't usually find these. So I've got this one right here. It's Utah for $1.49. I don't understand that price because usually, say, and this is Savers, usually Savers is like, what is it, $2 or something for a mug. So these were $1.49. Oh, and I got Florida. Oh, there it is, here. Florida. I'm gonna probably hang, hang on to Florida because I because I like it. Keeps me thinking about warm weather. Isn't that beautiful? So I think I will hang on to Florida for a dollar and a half and then sell Utah because Utah. So that's a great price. This was from 2016. And I'm not sure how much the this one here sells for, but I already have listed the Alaska Starbucks mug. And that one sells for about $28, $30 plus shipping. So I'll need to double check what Utah's doing. If anybody cares about Utah. So um, yeah, I cannot believe that I found two more of those Starbucks mugs at Savers of all places. Really cool. I did find another one of these frogs and of course I had to buy it. It was $3.99. These prices are all over the darn place. $3.99 for a, a frog thing and then a Starbucks mug, a dollar and a half. I don't know. Four, four glasses, Ivy, two forty nine. dollars This frog is more than all of that. Weird. So it's this uh, home painted 1970s frog and it's in the white with the brown splotches all over, no chips or cracks, and it does have the initials on the bottom from who painted it back in the day. So I will put this up for probably around 24 or so dollars with shipping included. And these do really well for me. I sell them all the time. I've sold green ones, orange ones, a red one. Yeah, very cool. This item here is something really fun. It is a basket, I guess. I'm not sure what it's for. I tried looking up what this was used for. I don't know, but I have a pair of them. And so I bought both of them and they were each $2.99. So $2.99 for each of those and I couldn't pass it up. Now, they were made in 1988 by the Haldon Group, H-A-L-D-O-N, the Haldon Group. And if you search that on replacements, Haldon, I forget if it's just Haldon or there's other words, there are other patterns that come up and this is a type of majolica, uh, the way that this glaze is on here. So um, yeah, I just I just decided to buy them. I feel like I can sell them for more, but I'm not sure how much yet. And they do have like different, they have different things, categories, that's not the right word. They have different patterns that they came out with. And this one looks like the, like the one that has to do with bunnies or cabbage, but I can't tell, but it's cute. So those will be going probably on Etsy and I don't know if I'll do them together probably together I'll sell them together but I don't know don't know for how much the last item that I have is actually these fish right here so I almost wasn't gonna buy them but I, I picked them up and Aaron just took them from me so I was like I guess we're getting them they are wood monkey pod wood fish and they were $3.99 each or no, that would be terrible. They were $3.99 for the set. They were taped together. So they're they're just really cute. It's this a fish kind of mid-century looking. That has a number on the bottom of it. Weird. But yeah, I figure with holidays, any kind of serving, you can put nuts in there. Oh, we have a school of fish on the table. That is adorable. $3.99. And I usually don't buy wood items, so I felt kind of obligated to buy the first wood item that caught my eye. And um, 
just gotta wash them up really easily. Maybe put a little uh, oil on there. I think we've got some, is it cutting board oil for like a cutting, co is it coconut or? You can put a little oil in there and it'll bring out all the grain and make it look really pretty. But I am shocked about these dishes because $10 is not much for savers. And Lefton, you don't usually see Lefton dishware. You see Lefton figurines. So I couldn't help but buy these. Aaron was telling me that we should keep them, but I, I don't even use, hardly use my Franciscan Ivy dishes because they're obnoxious and they're hard to, not hard. It's just, I'm using, I use the Corel plates. They're lightweight and you don't have to worry about breaking them. But the majority of the time I'm using paper, paper plates. Because even the Corel, like why waste your time in washing a dish if you could just throw it away? Um, so I think we're just gonna sell these. I don't really need them, but they are so pretty. They, they remind me of like the early 60s. Oh, beautiful. Uh, that is actually everything that I had to show. So all in all, really happy with it. We'll hope to get these things up real soon on Etsy. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.